I'm excited on those, man. I might literally just cook those on the intake manifold of my truck just so I can have one right now. I love Sprouts. They have all kinds of new keto items popping up all the time. Sprouts is unique because they're willing to give the small guys a shot sometimes. They put awesome products in because of what's on the ingredient label. So when I wanna find the top like new keto products, I usually go to Sprouts. It's like a great place. Plus they usually have the keto tag, little like label thing. It just makes it really cool. So we're gonna find a few of the best keto items that are at Sprouts right now here in 2021. Let's grab a cart. Okay, what is this? Coconut flour tortilla. I don't know if this is gonna be keto or not. Oh, that's a good product. It's not que not keto though. But check it out: coconut flour, cassava starch, water, apple cider vinegar, xanthan gum, coconut oil, sea salt. Not a single preservative in there. Coconut flour is going to have a higher carb content. The cassava starch is where the fiber is coming in. Okay, so if they didn't have the coconut flour, it wouldn't taste as good, but the carb content would come down quite a bit. But I was curious, and then. I've talked about these before. These are interesting. I really like them. Definitely keto friendly, less than a gram of carbs. They're egg white wraps. And this is like an everything bagel flavor. So we have egg whites, hemp seeds, and then we have dried garlic, dried onion, poppy seeds, xanthan gum, sea salt, natural flavors. Uh, it's got Nissen, which is a natural preservative. These are really cool. So a pretty cool keto find. Uh, if you want to just have something to be able to wrap something up in, uh, try that. I'm gonna grab one of those. Cool thing about Sprouts too is well, first of all, they never give me beef about filming in their store, which is awesome. So a huge shout out to them for that. Uh, but they, they put the tags. So like if something's new, you can see that it's new. If something's keto, you can see that it's keto. It makes it super convenient, super easy. Um, they also have a cool app. Like if you download their app, this is in no way a paid thing. If you use their app, it just kind of tells you new items and stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome. All right, you guys always know. Here's an example, first of all, of something. I mean, obviously this isn't good, but like, new for you like just to show you the tag but these these kevin's love them they are so good uh, cilantro lime chicken is actually one of my favorites that is a really darn good one the thai style coconut chicken still amazing korean barbecue style chicken it's funny because they say paleo but like if we look at the cilantro lime chicken get it out there there's only four grams of carbs in it so it's totally good to go uh, as i mentioned in a previous costco video we have to like you know, take it with a grain of salt, no pun intended, but yeast extract there. Uh, technically still considered an excitotoxin in terms of how it affects your brain. So it kind of makes your brain get a little bit more excited. So you always want to watch out for that a little bit, but I'm a huge fan of Kevin's, like great products. So any of one of these are going to be keto friendly. I seriously have a fridge that is stocked full of them, so I'm not going to get any more. But all those are awesome, relatively new keto finds here at Sprouts. Oh, here's something. Check this out. All right. This new item, new for you. Ketola. Never heard of this. Dark chocolate chip and nut granola, and then they have a blueberry cinnamon. Ooh, and a pumpkin seed? Ooh, that could be cool. Perfect in time for like right now. Okay, so this we have pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, erythritol, dried coconut, pecans, coconut oil, chia seeds, fair trade dark chocolate chips, Let's see more erythritol, but that's just in the chocolate chips. Cocoa butter, almond flour, coconut flour, fair trade cocoa powder, sea salt, chocolate flavor, monk fruit extract. Pretty awesome, actually. I mean, got erythritol in there, but that's it. Um, let's see. This is probably gonna be about the same. This is more focused. Yeah, I love that pumpkin seeds are the first ingredient because pumpkin seeds are just a great, great source of zinc, but also I really like the amino acid profile of pumpkin seeds as a protein. Dried coconut, pecans, freeze-dried blueberries. I'd probably opt for this one over the chocolate one because the blueberries, at least you're getting some antioxidant benefit there. So that's really cool. And then I'm a big pumpkin guy. Toasted pumpkin seeds. So these ones must be raw. These ones are toasted. I actually will take toasted over raw. So in this case, see how they just say pumpkin seeds? And this one says toasted pumpkin seeds. You're gonna have a little bit more of a breakdown of some of the uh, phytates. Sunflower seeds, erythritol, dried coconut, pecans, coconut oil, chia seeds also in there, almond flour, coconut flour. Oh yeah, this is awesome. And only one gram of net carbs. Now, I'm curious because I like this brand down here called uh, Kiss My Keto. What's the difference? Dried coconut, soluble tapioca fiber, pumpkin seeds, almonds, sunflower seeds, allulose, pecans, coconut oil, also very, very good. Okay, this has been on the shelves for a little while. 
So it's a little bit uh, less exciting because I've never seen it before. I'm excited to see one that's focused on pumpkin seeds. So this is much more coconut based, same amount of calories, very similar macros. Let's see, in this case, we have one gram of net carb and then we have two grams of net carbs. So I'd probably take this one slightly overboard to kiss my keto. They do have a peanut butter flavor, which seems pretty awesome. And it's new, so highlighting that, awesome. New clover butter. Oh, this is cool. Okay, Sprouts has a new grass-fed spreadable Irish butter. So instead of the Kerrygold, Sprouts now has their own, which is nice because Kerrygold is usually a couple dollars more expensive. So that's really nice to see. So stoked to see that. That's a new item as well. Awesome seeing that. Ooh, check this out. Something new. The Vanilla Keto Latte from Trident Coffee. I think it's the same stuff that I, not this flavor, but I think it's the same stuff I found at Aldi that time. Water, coffee, MCTs, acai, uh, acacia, I'll just say gelding gum, monk fruit extract, vanilla extract. I do like that there's no erythritol or anything. Straight up coffee and MCTs and just some vanilla flavoring. In this case, a vanilla extract. They're not even using natural flavors. They're actually using real vanilla extract. Heck yes. That is expensive though. $3.99. Uh, pretty pricey for but I love that. I love there's no natural flavors. I love there's no weird kind of erythritol. Not that I have a problem with your eryth erythritol, but I just don't necessarily want that if I'm on an empty stomach. It kind of makes me feel a little iffy. So that's cool. Here, oh, sweet. So this Kinder's company, I've never seen this. So keto, I've, I have no idea about this. Let's see, keto friendly, zero sugar. And I know they're not big on having sucralose in here. So let's see what they've got. Tomato puree. Ooh, allulose. This is different. Okay, so normally like, when you see sugar-free barbecue sauces, they're gonna be uh, with sucralose. Uh, what's that one, Bubba's or whatever the popular one? Kinder's, I remember when they first came into Costco, but I've never seen their zero sugar. So tomato puree, allulose, big fan of allulose, natural smoke flavor, distilled vinegar, a little cornstarch which I don't care for, jalapeno peppers, chipotle powder, guar gum, some natural flavors. Okay, so there's some things in there that maybe aren't the best. Uh, you're still getting five grams of carbs with no fiber, so five full-on net carbs. What about the roasted garlic version here? Still five grams total carbs, or net carbs. What about the Cali Gold? Four grams, okay, so in this case, I'm gonna get the Cali Gold. Go for that. It's awesome, still a fair amount of carbs, because that's only two tablespoons you're getting four grams of carbs. So I consider it keto, it is relatively new, but again, ooh, I've tried this. Uh, it's just, yes, I've tried this. Okay, now, full disclaimer, like, it's, it's a little bit of a Franken food, but it's made from potato starch, okay, which is weird, but erythritol, cocoa, emulsifier, stevia extract, salt, natural flavors. It is a Franken food. Like, I mean, like, it's some weird stuff kind of mixed together in there and stuff that I wouldn't necessarily say. This is nutritious, uh, but I will say for a pudding on keto, it's pretty awesome. Like, it really is good if you're gonna have it in moderation. So cool find. I, have, I get a bunch of that from Thrive Market already. So I have like a ton of it because Amber makes, uh, takes a couple of those boxes of it, makes a pudding and then makes like a hazelnut crust and makes literally like a, it's called a pudding pie, just like it sounds. All these ghees, all these different fats are great. I don't know what happened. That mountain looks really interesting. Oh, sweet. Okay, so they have infused macadamia nut spray and regular, let's see what the difference is. Yes, I am stoked on this. And this is a new item too. It's expensive, but macadamia nut oil is expensive. They have it in a spray. Okay, so we have 100% cold pressed pure macadamia nut oil and some natural flavors in the infused. Or we have 100% cold pressed pure macadamia nut oil. I think you can obviously guess the one I'm going for. I'm gonna grab that. It is pricey, but macadamia nut has a nice high smoke point. It has a great omega-3 to omega-6 value, not necessarily ratio, but very low levels of omega-6s and low levels of omega-3s. It's mostly omega-7 palmitoleic acid. Very beneficial fat when it comes down to beta cells in the pancreas, but also a beneficial fat when it comes down to making omega-3s more bioavailable in the body. So let's see what else we got. Here's a hot tip on keto. Okay, remember that peanut butter at the end of the day probably should be used in moderation. But don't be afraid to get like the powdered nut butters, okay? The, here's the thing, like if you take this, you have so many less calories. And like here's a peanut butter one. Um, this one might have sugar in it. Let's find one that doesn't have sugar. Unsweetened, here we go. Uh, powdered almond butter. It's $8.99, so yes, it's expensive. 
But two tablespoons is 45 calories versus two tablespoons of regular almond butter being like 200 calories. Mix it up with a little bit of water, mix it up with a little bit of almond milk just to make it thick. It's really, really a cool way to get the consistency and somewhat of the taste of peanut butter or almond butter with a fraction of the calories. And if you're cooking or anything that calls for almond butter, use this. It just it saves you a ton of calories. Oh, check this out. No added sugar, these new coffee bombs. I'm wondering if they're, oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's a good idea. Organic coconut oil, collagen peptides, and grass-fed butter. Glad I came back over here. Three simple ingredients, coconut oil, collagen, and grass-fed butter. What about the vanilla cinnamon? Coconut oil, collagen, butter, vanilla, cinnamon. Ooh, this is cool. What about the chocolate? Coconut oil, collagen, your basic, this is cool, pure maple sugar, uh, syrup. This one's got a couple grams of carbs, these are zero carbs. I'm trying this vanilla cinnamon one, that is awesome. Because this is like, this is basically, you're able to make a keto coffee, a bulletproof coffee, by just dropping one of these things in. So you just keep them in the fridge, plop, mix it up. That is really cool. Definitely a really cool find of Sprouts. I've heard this is really good, uh, this keto milk. Don't know much about it, but my wife's cousin said that it's the closest thing that they've found to real milk. Filtered water, coconut cream, MCT oil, and coconut oil. So it's caloric, but apparently it tastes close to real milk. So I'm gonna try the vanilla one. This isn't necessarily a new item, but I'll let you know what I think of it. If anyone's tried it, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so here they have the perfect bar. Which, yeah, see a lot of carbs in that one. So this Sprouts doesn't have it yet, but today's video sponsor was the Good Lovin' Bar. Check these out. This is called the Good Lovin' Bar. Okay, now I will say Good Lovin', look at, they're like wiped out because people are buying them. So Good Lovin' did sponsor this video, so they're today's video sponsor, but seriously, check this out. Let me show you the coconut almond flavor. These are a refrigerated bar. So in this case, we have, oh my gosh, Organic almonds, organic coconut, organic cocoa butter, organic pea protein, organic coconut butter, organic pea protein crisp with pea protein and some rice flour in the crisp. In this case, organic erythritol, organic vanilla extract, sea salt, organic monk fruit. All the way down to the monk fruit being organic. Yeah, look at this, like erythritol's way down at the bottom. Like it's not usually with a lot of bars, you're gonna find erythritol way up high. So the sugar alcohol content is significantly lower. And I love that cocoa butter is the main thing. So cocoa butter is the, the fat that is in like chocolate. It's the cocoa butter, right? It's that same, it's that good steric acid, really good quality fat. So super awesome to see them here. And again, it's because they're refrigerated, they don't have to have any preservatives in them. So you saw there's no preservatives. So you can take these with you. And the thing is, they don't have to stay refrigerated if you're going out on the road. Like they'll be fine for a day or so. Just know that if you put them out in the sun, they're gonna get soft because they're held together with cocoa butter. Just like if you would put chocolate out, it's gonna get soft. So heck yes. So if you don't have a Sprouts nearby, well, first of all, if you do have a Sprouts, go to Sprouts, buy them, vote with your dollars and show Sprouts that this kind of product is the kind of stuff we want. Okay, and then also, if you don't have access to a Sprouts or you want to get a special discount, there's a link down below and you can save 20% off of these, a variety pack of these by using code ORGANIC20. Okay, so that link is down below in the description and a big thanks to today's video sponsor, The Good Lovin' Bar, so down below in the description. Oh, and I just found this one buried back there too. Check this out, I didn't see that flavor before. This is the peanut butter and jelly flavor. Totally getting that too. So they've got their whole crunchy lineup. They have bars that also aren't crunchy too, which is kind of cool. Oh, this is cool. This is the new, um, yeah. And the new for you, Kettle and Fire now has a regenerative agriculture. So 100% pasture raised chicken bones raised using regenerative agriculture. I just think it's cool. Yeah, you pay a dollar more, but I mean, that's a really good cause. And that's a new item that is obviously keto. It's bone broth. But then, you know what's really weird? Didn't even think about this, but I was just recording a video talking about taking bone broth and shirataki noodles. <laughs> but seriously, I swear on my life. I've never seen that combination before. This chicken noodle soup, keto paleo bone broth, all it is is water, cognac flour, which is making the noodles. Okay, then broth, chicken bone. Uh, uh, why did they put the yeast extract in there? I mean, again, it's not a deal breaker for me, but they're clearly trying to make it taste a little bit better. But then we've got this other one here that's not marketed as keto. Same kind of thing. Let's see what this is. Is it the same company? Oh, never mind. It's the same company. It's from Miracle Noodle. Broth ingredients, yeah, still, what's the difference here? Oh, one's chicken noodle soup, one is beef noodle soup. I'm totally getting one of these. I'm gonna try the chicken one. Chicken noodle soup. 
So basically like almost making a pho. Something you could even have in between meals. Like that glucoma glucoman and fiber that is in shirataki noodles will keep you full all day. If you don't chew it all the way, <laughs> and you just like let it slither on down your throat, um, the next day you're gonna think you had tapeworms. <laughs> so be careful, don't freak out. This is where there's just always new things coming in. Like, okay, so we got new for you. This is a much better surprise, Sacha Inchi Seeds. One of my favorite nuts. Okay, one of my favorite nuts when it comes down to the just very good amino acid profile. So in this case, organic roasted Sacha Inchi, avocado oil. The seasoning has some maltodextrin. Ooh, also has sugar, salt, salad style mustard. I don't know what salad style mustard is. Honey white, distilled vinegar, uh, mustard seeds, citric acid. Okay, so we got a couple carbs in there. No added sugars, even though it says it there. That just is a testament to like, there's less than a gram. It's just in the seasoning. Um, the sea salt, vin oh, sea salt vinegar, I had no idea. Okay, I'll take that over honey mustard. And this probably, sacha inchi, avocado oil, seasoning, maltodextrin, sea salt, white distilled. So it still has the maltodextrin in there and a little bit of sugar there. I don't understand why that needs to be there. Uh, with, but maybe it just rounds out the flavor. It's a negligible amount, clearly. Nine grams of protein, I will tell you, Sacha Inchi is a complete protein. So if you're plant-based and you're messing around with keto, this is a really cool one. I'm stoked to see this. Good on you, Sprouts. That is awesome. What is this? Snackable salad to go? Carrot ginger salad? Wait, it's like, dry, it's like a dried salad. That's a clever idea. Six grams of tarts, 12 grams of carbs. So you have kale, carrot, chickpeas, Red cabbage, Napa cabbage, apple cider vinegar, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, red onion, cranberries, tamari, pumpkin seeds, olive oil, tahini, ginger, what? This is cool. Look at, that is really cool. And it's olive oil. This is the carrot ginger one. So it's gonna probably have like an Asian kind of feel. That Brad's company is awesome. Brand spanking new, definitely gonna try that. That's what I'm talking about. The new items that you see at Sprouts are just so different. Like, when you see a new item, keto item at Costco, <laughs> I love Costco, but you can almost expect it to be kind of junky. Here, it's just a different world. Like you, I actually expect it to be better. Um, okay, wow. Lots of new cookies. These Catalina Crunch cookies are super good. I have tried them. Yes, they're still a keto processed food, okay? Shouldn't be eating a ton of them. But look at the ingredients. It's from that same company that makes the cereal. Palm fruit oil. Okay, so we got palm oil, which is rich in palmitic acid. Not the best saturated fat. I would prefer steric. I would prefer meristic. We have pea protein. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, we have pea protein. We have allulose. Rice flour is a little frustrating to have it there. Cane sugar, chicory root fiber, tapioca flour, cocoa powder, xanthan gum, natural flavors. So a lot of like kind of mixed things that I have mixed opinions on, but it is still a good keto item as far as the macros are concerned and as far as just I guess it's availability so I'll go ahead and grab it I mean it is nice to have like an Oreo every now and then right so we got these ones this is a new one I've never seen this cookie it's a patented Belgium recipe don't know what that means but let's see coconut cookies coconut almond meal butter egg polydextrose isomalt Ooh, soluble corn fiber sugar don't know about the isomalt there that's gonna be a little bit of a digestive issue there. So I'm gonna say pass, but let's take a look at the chocolate chunk one. Yeah, same thing. And the polydextrose, what that is, is basically a form of dextrose that has become resistant. Um, so you have dextrose, which is like dextrin, which is a essentially, for lack of a better term, like a very absorbable sugar. When you have it as a poly form, you have it bound together, so it becomes resistant. We lack the enzymes to break it down. So what ends up happening is the gut bacteria breaks it down, but polydextrose, there's a lot of ambiguity in terms of how it really reacts in the body. And resistant starches, I'm, I have question on in terms of how they affect your blood sugar. So I'm gonna steer away from that one, not because it's bad, but because isomalt, I do not do well with. And in the high key cookies I've talked about before, uh, I like these. There's a lot of stuff in them. I talked about them in my Costco haul. Whey protein concentrate, some psyllium. You know, these are actually not bad at all. They're just caloric. Um, almond flour, monk fruit. There's nothing I really don't like. I wish it was whey protein isolate, but they're using it as a concentrate to give it like a milk flavor. Um, vanilla extract. So there's no natural flavors. It's actually pretty good. I'm gonna try that. Fat Snacks has their crackers here. <laughs> these are so good. In fact, I need to actually get some. Um, Almond flour, egg whites, cheddar cheese, okay, butter, 
coconut flour, flax seeds, Parmesan cheese, aluminum-free baking powder, water, xanthan gum, sea salt, paprika, or sorry, anato for coloring, paprika, garlic, rosemary, and onion. I don't see any preservatives in there. And they're using Parmesan cheese. I love that there. They're adding that extra flair. And then you got the original sea salt, which is gonna have even less stuff, because in this case, we have almond flour, egg white, butter, coconut flour, cream cheese, salt, carob bean gum, cheese culture, flax seed, so less stuff because we're not having to deal with what's in like the cheddar potential flavoring and stuff. So I'm gonna get some of the basic ones. If you ever like dip these in some cream cheese or even put a little bit of butter on them, oh my gosh, they're so good. Check this out, what are these breakfast sliders? I have no idea what's in them. They look interesting though. Tribali foods, chicken raised, no antibiotics, no other. Oh, this is cool. All right, we got organic chicken. Nice, organic water, dried apples. Seasoning, which is sea salt, garlic, white pepper, fennel, thyme, nutmeg, olive oil, apple juice concentrate, and sage. Sweet! Basically, a frozen breakfast sausage. Serving size is two sliders, too. And you're only having three grams of carbs and not even a whole lot of sodium. And it's organic chicken. What's the price on that? Eight bucks, and you're getting six total sliders. Dollar 25-ish a slider. That's pretty awesome. Definitely, I'm getting these for sure. I will devour these. These are exactly the kind of thing. Okay, speaking of that, check this out. What is this company and what are you doing with my life? This is awesome. They have a turkey patty, Thai style turkey patty. 100% free range turkey. Seriously? So free range turkey, onion, coconut aminos. <laughs> what? Coconut tree sap, sea salt, shiitake mushrooms, scallion ginger, Thai style seasoning, sea salt. Granulated garlic, white pepper, cayenne pepper, no preservatives, nothing. They're 11 bucks. So yes, they're expensive, but yes. So how many grams of protein? Okay, 18 grams of protein, one patty. Talk about an on-the-go option. Okay, like occasionally I come into Sprouts and I'm just wowed. Like something super new. This is awesome. Okay, heck yes. Definitely getting both of those. There goes all my budget. My wife's gonna kill me. Got the Love Good Fats Bar, which I'm a big fan of. It's been here for a while. Um, Hungry Buddha Bar in the, this is a newer one. I do like what they have in here. As far as like a bar that's shelf stable. Uh, fats blend, it is using sunflower seed butter. It'd be cool if they used a different fat blend, but cocoa butter, medium chain triglycerides. Then we have soluble tapioca fiber, chicory root, pea protein isolate, uh, pea protein crisps, which is pea protein concentrate, some brown rice flour, but it's just for the crisps, I guess. Water, unsweetened chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate with a little bit of sugar, but we're far down the list. I don't think it's a huge deal. Uh, monk fruit juice concentrate, natural flavor, agar, and macros, 16 grams of carbs, 11 of which is fiber. So you're looking pretty low net carb here. In fact, it says five grams of net carbs. Just, to, I, I appreciate what they're putting into their ingredients there. It's pretty awesome. Oh God, sorry. I think this is trying to like, this fast bar, I think they're trying to knock off the uh, Prolon bar. Looks like this one's been here a while. Almonds, macadamias, pecans, chicory root fiber, honey. Yeah, it looks like the Prolon bar. Like it's like a fast mimicking bar. Don't necessarily buy into the context of that, but the bar itself is pretty clean. Uh, Kiss My Keto, we've talked about their bars before. Uh, coconut oil, first ingredients, tapioca fiber syrup, which if you have a sensitive gut, that's probably gonna cause some issues. Whole egg powder, milk protein isolate, cashews, inulin, vegetable glycerin, egg white protein, erythritol, natural flavors. It, really not bad, just some, I think you'd probably get some gut distress there. So it's kind of interesting. They do have a birthday cake one. Hmm. Well, that was really soft. I kind of squished that one. In. I guess I should take that one because I squished it, I feel bad. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got a nice selection of things. Let's go ahead and check out with our awesome new fall 2021 amazing products. <laughs> Thanks, man. At least one a haul now. <laughs> I guess. I guess growing a little bit. So some awesome new keto finds. Pretty stoked on what I've got. Don't forget to check out the Good Lovin' Bar and the link down below in the description. Just drop it on down and you will see that link populate right there. Use code ORGANIC20 to save 20% off a variety pack, which is epic, but also go to Sprouts and vote with your dollars and get that shiznat. And as always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.